Hello everyone and welcome to the latest version of Shimiji available as always from Kilkacon.com. Head over to Kilkacon.com slash Shimiji and click the download now button and you'll get the latest version of Shimiji for your very own. Let's talk about what's new in this particular version. There's an adjustment to the Korean translation as provided by Fabmia, thank you for that. And let's demonstrate the new feature right now. The new feature is affordances. If you're interested in affordances, I will demonstrate them, but you can also look that up on Wikipedia. So both of them are currently broadcasting. We're going to get this guy to manually hunt down any broadcasting people and watch what happens. The two come together and embrace, increasing their hug energy by three points. This guy actually wants some additional hug, as you can see he's maintaining the pose, but this guy has lost interest. So that's what, what's been added. The ability for Shimiji to interact and do any sorts of things you can imagine. I've uh, obviously I've used a hug example here. The sprites have been provided by Catchamon. Thank you for that as always. Uh, one of my patrons who had access to the early access build used it to create characters that would shoot each other and try to evade each other. Very crafty indeed. So I'm going to demonstrate how this works in the code and the markup. If you're interested in that and you're an artist, please stick around and I will demonstrate that all for you now. You can also head over to my Patreon page so this is how all my work is supported and if you go over to the posts and look at the template tag I've actually already brought that up for you here all the templates that I've put online will be here and this one that we're using now will be here by the time you see this video there's actually the previous one here for the uh, firing apples off at people nonetheless this is what we're using today so let's talk about how it works under the hood and if, of course, you're a regular user, thank you for watching. I hope you'll enjoy this feature when artists incorporate this into their own Shimiji. Let's get started, shall we? So here we are. We're in Actions XML right now. There's also Behaviors XML, which mainly just adds these new actions in here, as you could see, the regular actions here, and also the uh, cuddle parts, which have a frequency of zero and are hidden. Just important note. Let's get to the main meat of it, which is here in Actions.XML. So these are all the actions, I've brought them all together so you can see everything that goes on. So the first part is the broadcast. So the broadcast is this action here. This is when the person says, I want to be hugged. We're using the cuddle affordance, the name is, is important. Uh, they all have to, these two parts need to refer to the same name. And this broadcast is the, def the equivalent of animate by default. So if you know the different defaults and what they do, this is an animate action. You can use broadcast stay for the stay equivalent and broadcast move if you need to have an affordance uh, transmitted on the move. Nonetheless, those are the various affordance um, options you have available. So while he's in this state, he is broadcasting this affordance for other Shimiji to listen to. And this is where the scan move action comes into place. Scan move will look for anyone who has a cuddle uh, affordance being broadcasted. If they do, they will then zero in, home in on that Shimiji, and when they get there, they will change the target's behavior to I am hugged, as specified here, and change their own behavior to I hug you, as specified here. If there's no one who's currently up for a hug, it'll fail silently to the next action in the sequence. So, let's continue. Next up is the interaction. So the interaction is um, used to indicate that moment of contact. So let's have them uh, cuddle up once again, and I can demonstrate this a few times. So this the scan move, and now they're interacting. Now, notably, you can actually separate them while they're interacting, and it will stop them from completing their action. They'll, they'll, fall, fail, they'll fall through the sequence. So hence why I've added this optional behavior attribute to this action. So I could, for example, just add in this in here, like so, and then put something in here, and that would be whatever, that would be called should the cuddle complete successfully and not be interrupted by the user or whatever else, or like the window being shrunk or so on and so forth. Um, that's basically the guts of it at this point. You can see them <laughs> hugging together now, that's quite sweet. Uh, and you can see here's the sequences that are used for that. Um, note here the small delay is needed at the beginning of the hunt, otherwise an infinite loop occurs which stops the Shimiji from working. So do insert this, make sure you keep that little delay there at the start there just to make sure that everything runs smoothly. And if you don't use the optional uh, attribute here, the behavior attribute, 
uh, and do note that if whether they succeed or fail, they will then fall down to the next uh, action reference in your sequence. So that's pretty much the guts of it. Do feel free to head over to the uh, Patreon and download the template for yourself. This is the same template I'm running here, so you'll have access to all of this code for yourself. And if you've got any questions, hit me up on Discord. I will be available to answer any questions. Thank you all for watching. I hope you'll have great fun with this update. It was a lot of work to make sure that everything worked perfectly, but I'm very happy with the results, and I'm already starting to see some great creative uses of this code, and I'm looking forward to seeing what others come up with. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time, right here at CocoCon.com. <laughs>